From the Fox 26 studios, this is Houston's Morning Show. 32 minutes after the hour here. So let's kind of give you the highlights in your cheat sheet. We wrapped up round two, night two of the Democratic presidential debates happening in Detroit. So we're going to break it down for you and kind of pick out the highlights that you might have missed. We've got Republican strategist Jackie Bally and Democratic strategist Dennis Jones here. I wonder if I should separate you two, if I should be standing in the middle of you guys. Probably. We'll be civil today. <laughs> today. We'll be good today. Thank you so much. It's not, okay. enough, to, it's not enough to fight about. No. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, there was a lot that we were expecting, right? We had Joe Biden center stage mm -hmm. in between Cory Booker and uh, Kamala Harris. They've mm -hmm. sparred independently. Yes. Now we have everyone kind of focused on him. So right. you tell me your take on what you saw last night. Sure, we, we anticipated that they would go after Joe Biden because he is the front runner by far, actually. Mm -hmm. And Kamala bumped up very much uh, after the last debate. She had a really good debate the first time around. So having Hubbard, um, um, I'm sorry, Gabbard come after her uh, prosecution record as former uh, attorney general was very, very enlightening. But what was surprising for me is the way they attacked former President Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. uh, they attacked his immigration policies. Uh, even Joe Biden tried to run away from it and say, well, I was just his vice president and I gave him uh, advice, but he didn't take it. And Cory Booker called him on it and said, you can't throw the president under the bus one minute and try to embrace him another minute. Um, you know, when uh, the record of three million illegals being deported came up over and over again. Uh, Vice President Biden trying to run away from that. Well, and then Dallas, we should point out, though, they are two different men. This would be two different demonstrations. So what is your take um, on Biden, especially with him saying, you know what, I'm not going to be as polite this time, especially since the Democrats are looking for someone who can really go up against Trump head to head. So we recapped this yesterday, and it was expected that um, Vice President Biden would be a little bit more aggressive, which he should have been to be a front runner. He, he tick down some points. Um, what I wasn't expecting was how much Apple research had been done to come at Senator Harris. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very clear that everybody in the field on the stage wanted to take her down a tick because they realized it would have been a lot more difficult to take him down. Mm -hmm. We rarely agree. But what I would say was I found myself watching the debate going, wow, wow, wow. You guys are running away from President Obama yeah. in a way that I, I don't know that it benefits us mm -hmm. to do so. That did not happen in the first night of the debate. And so the question becomes, as we take this down to a few, what does that mean in terms of our field? Do you embrace President Obama, or do you run away from him? Yes. So that is the question as we're moving on to debate three, Absolutely. which is going to be here in Houston in mm -hmm. September. We had some odd references, right? We had people talking about Kool-Aid. You're dipping in the Kool-Aid. You don't know the flavor. We've got talking about Clorox. Um, and then we have um, President Biden say, go easy on me, kid, to Kamala Harris, who said right. that she was not offended by that comment. So right. what were some of the standouts that you are looking for as we move into three? Because a lot of these people are not going to be there. Yeah, you're going to have the field narrow, but also as you're looking at them coming to TSU, coming into a more urban uh, area and a, a school that's historically black, these black issues that came up last night, and they just touched on a little bit, they're going to touch on them again some more. And that's what Corey's reference, Corey Booker's reference was, dipping in the Kool-Aid. You pretend to be a part of my community, but you really don't understand my community. Kamala Harris was, uh, again, looking at his a lot of his practices, Joe Biden practices in the past, which was not embracing people of color. And so even Joe Biden tries to attach himself to former President Barack Obama, you will see a lot of the black candidates who are still in the running attack his racist or segregationist policies of the past. And Dallas, real quick, we've got 30 Let's seconds left, but honest. I'm here in response. Like they had the advantage of seeing what happened last night, so everybody was able to prepare for this. And the subject of race is a big, is a big issue when you're talking about voters in a Democratic primary, which is majority minority. So at the end of the day, like these colloquialisms are fine, but. Uh, black people care about policies, and that's what we're going to continue to care about. So Kool-Aid, no Kool-Aid, this is what we care about, and that's what we're going to look out look at when we're trying to choose the next president of the United States. Okay, so next debate's seconds. coming up on September 12th and 13th. You nailed it there. And, and what, did you, what did you notice? We had agreement here at the table. Yeah, we did. We'll be back in a Not couple of much. minutes. <laughs> well, look at you. You still broke it, though. <laughs>